Kentucky Derby week, so we decided to revisit the most popular female athlete of our time, and the most accomplished. She took on the boys at every opportunity and left them defeated and distraught. The most they could hope for was a poor second. We met Zunyata in October last year, and it was, as they say, love at first sight. She was indisputably the queen in the sport of kings. Zunyata was 19 for 19 at the time, which is unheard of in horse racing at that level. And she was about to enter her 20th and last race. It was the $5 million Breeders' Cup Classic, the Super Bowl of the sport. She'd won it in 2009, and we knew she would win it again. She just did not know how to lose. But she did. She lost by a nose. Objective, impartial journalists that we are, we were heartbroken. The story will continue in a moment. Zenyatta is dead last. She started out way behind, but she always did. That was the way she raced. As the finish line approached, she would go for broke and let the boys eat her dust. It was a strategy that caused coronaries, but it worked. And it seemed to be working this time, too. They're bunching up at the top of the lane now, though. She was way back at the turn for home, but coming down the stretch, she fired off her rockets and started passing them all. Even the announcer thought she was going to pull it off. Zenyatta! Zenyatta! And she almost did. But that wire came just 15 feet too soon. Zenyatta ran her heart out but had to settle for second. When we started hanging out with Zenyatta, we were struck not so much by her might as by her magnificence. She is quite simply the most splendid creature we'd ever seen. She's big for a mare, taller than most of the boys in the stable, and very calm. Thoroughbreds are supposed to be high-strung and hot-blooded, but there's something zen about Zenyatta. She loves kids and welcomes strangers, particularly when they come bearing gifts. The mere sight of Zenyatta can bring tears to the eyes of people who've been around horses all their lives. Perhaps it's her perfection, the sense that, like the music of Mozart, you can't imagine a more beautiful creation. But when she hits the track, there's a personality change you can barely believe. She becomes obsessed, it seems, with showing the boys that she is faster and tougher than any one of them. She drives people into fits of frenzy. This was the 2009 Breeders' Cup. Zenyatta coming flying on the grandstand side. Gio Ponti on the inside. Summerbird is right there. This is unbelievable. Zenyatta. Her Hall of Fame jockey, Mike Smith, has won all the races in the Triple Crown and nearly 5,000 more. How does Zenyatta compare to the other horses you've been on who won these championship races? She means more to me than all those. And can you explain why? She's just who she is. She's Zenyatta. She's incredible. She's done everything that we've ever asked of her. Where did she live? Where else? Hollywood. And at more than 1,200 pounds, she was the biggest star in town. The camera loved her, and she loved the camera. Before every race, she posed and strutted and did a little dance. But once on the track, she became a Ferrari racing against a pack of Volvos. She's got a chance to gun them both down, and here she comes. Long track announcer Vic Stauffer has called Zenyatta's races from the very start, which is when she was just another horse. And the bad start has Zenyatta at the back of the pack. That's where Quite Zenyatta has cat. always started, in, in the back, back length, lingering languidly as if she's on a Sunday outing. But then she puts her feet on the pedal and slams into high gear. Zenyatta runs up outside of her and draws within a length of the lead. And Vic Stauffer realized early on that this was one fast girl with one hell of a future. Here's a future superstar, Zenyatta. Wow. And that's when you knew you were really looking at something very special. She always comes from behind. <clears throat> you ever go a little bit crazy when she's way behind? Yeah, because I've become a fan and I've rooted for her, but that's just all part of the theater of her. Um, 
she passes them all, and I have a feeling that if there were 10 more in front of her, she'd just pass them. I think that's what keeps her, keeps her sound and keeps her uh, happy, is that uh, she only does what she has to do. So you might not have been on her at her fastest yet? I truly don't believe I have. Uh, I've always, in every race that I've ridden her in, I've always felt that there was another gear if I needed it. 40, 40, 50, 40. But her beginnings didn't seem special at all. The only thing remarkable about her was her price. She was bought at an auction when she was one year old for only $60,000. John Sheriffs has been her trainer ever since. We were just really blessed and fortunate. How'd you get her so cheap? Well, I, I think because she had skin disease, which was, she had a form of ringworm, so she wasn't particularly attractive at the sale. She had a rash. Had a rash. So it's been from rash to riches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't quite believe I said that. Under John Sheriff's tutelage, Zenyatta has won more than six million dollars. But she was a late starter, not ready and too immature, Sheriff's thought, to run in the big races when she was a little kid. When she was three years old, why didn't you race her in the Kentucky Derby? Uh, you know, she wasn't, as a three-year-old, she, she wasn't ready to race. You know, it, it took her a long time to, uh, to mature in, into the horse she is now, and uh, we just had to be patient with her. Sheriffs gave Zenyatta time to grow up and insisted on doing it at his own pace without ever losing his temper. He thinks horses know when people are tense and they don't like it. We spent nearly a week with Zenyatta, and for a celebrity of her stature, we had unusual access. We could watch her beauty treatments in the morning, the bandaging of her legs in the afternoon. We played with her on the lawn which was planted just for her. That's what's so amazing about her, is she chooses to be gentle all the time. Zenyatta's owners, Ann and Jerry Moss, who made their fortune in the music business, knew how to pamper their starlet. She's touched and handled by 14, or oh, at least 14 people a day. She's touched by 14 people a day? Over 14, yeah. yes, at least 14 people a day. And there's somebody with her 24 hours a day? Yes. Yes. It's pretty cozy. Yeah. That <laughs> is. But the training on the track was regimented and rigorous. Five days a week, John Sheriffs had Zenyatta run at a moderately slow pace. She didn't like slow, so her exercise rider had to use all his strength to hold her back. Then once a week, she was let loose. But even then, Mike Smith says, she wasn't nearly at full throttle. What does it feel like being on her? You know, there's just so much power. She's so athletic. She's such a big, big horse, so she's just amazing. How does it feel when she starts her surge? It's pretty amazing because within a matter of two or three jumps, she can make up close to 10 lengths. It's even more stunning from the jockey's perspective. As you can see from these pictures, taken by a camera Mike Smith agreed to wear on his helmet. It's just, it's, it's wild, it's mind-boggling. Who decides when she starts the surge? Is it you or is it her? <laughs> it's me most of the time, but it's also her at times. She's like a loaded gun. Really? You know, when you pull the trigger, I mean, it's, she's gonna fire. And every day after the workout, it's lunchtime. Here's a question I think trainers all over the world will want to hear your answer to. What do you feed her? <laughs> well, you know, we give her oats and hay. <laughs> come on, come on, you don't expect people to believe that. Um, well, okay, so we, we, uh, we add a little bit of uh, aloe vera juice, right? Mm -hmm. We give her aloe vera juice because it's good for their stomachs. And then if she's been really good, I could pop open a Guinness and she could have a beer in the afternoon. Give her a beer. Yeah. And she likes it? Yes, yeah. Just one? Usually just one. I wonder how she'd react if you gave her a different beer. Mm, I've tried that. Really? Yeah, and Guinness is very expensive. She won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a high-class horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, she just won't, she won't accept it. You know, it's got to be the stout. And that's perfectly okay because John Sheriffs was happy to let her be a prima donna. When she's playing to the crowd, yeah. how do you see it? What physical manifestation is there? Well, she gets very bright. 
you know uh, she she puffs herself up you know she looks very strong and her and her eyes seem to you know stick out a little bit and you know and she's just really bright and alert her ears are extremely you know her ears are like this she's just listening for anything look over here look over there you know she's just she's really into it she's her whole focus is on what's going on around her you really think that when she's prancing before the crowd and sticking her ears up you really think she knows what she's doing absolutely yeah there's no doubt about it you know this is hollywood <laughs> there's no doubt about it no she's she just um she just feeds off of it and the magazines fed off of her zanetta was profiled in w magazine Oprah called her one of 20 women rocking the world. She didn't try to interview Zenyatta, but John Sheriff says he talks to horses all the time. Horses are really special. I mean, you can talk to them, you can work out your problems with them. How do you communicate? What do you communicate <laughs> with Zenyatta? Yeah, well, you, you know, when you look up into her face and look at her eyes and, and you just say, you know, you're doing great. You're the best ever. Thank you for everything you've given me. And you just see that really kind look. You know, you have a feeling that she's actually understanding. Maybe she is. Yeah, yeah. You have to believe it, don't you? You know. In January, Zenyatta was named Horse of the Year. And that's just the beginning. She is clearly destined for membership in the Thoroughbred Hall of Fame. Well, I think she could arguably, arguably go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest horse of all time. The greatest horse of all time. Definitely. She's retired now in Kentucky. Seems to be okay. Still enjoys her little dance, even if nobody's watching. Makes friends easily. Doesn't let anyone know about her glorious past. She's going to have a good life after this. Green pastures, motherhood. Yeah, they, all, they often talk about who they'd breed her to, and I've always said no one's worthy. No man is worthy of no. Zenyatta. No. Not at all, not even close. Maybe not, but Zenyatta's always had a thing or two to teach the boys, and for the first time, she's free to horse around. She's already had a brief affair, but so far no kids. She'll keep trying though, and imagine what it will be like to have Zenyatta for a mother. Just try to live up to that.